Hello YouTube, what is up? This is Dwayne Summer, so I'll bring you some more Sonic 3 Complete. So last time we went to the Marble Garden and, um, we ended up in Carnival Night. Not a lot to say, yeah, no, sorry. But yeah, the Carnival Night, so pretty much take Casino Night without the gambling. Also a Carnival motif. Uh, pretty much like Casino Night in that it's really flashy and takes place at night. What the fuck am I doing here? Okay, Tails, flop. Give me his, get me that box, Tails. Okay, there we go. Oh shit! Eee. Down and down we go. Okay, okay let's kneel that then. Let's go. Oh. Snap. Wee. A shizzles. And my lizzles. I don't know. Fire the cannon! Yeah, there are cannons. There's a lot of traps here. Also, there's this, which is just annoying. Especially with tails. Like, I don't know how to do this. So screw it. Just use tails and fly. Fly like a pretty birdie. I don't know. Oh, shh. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> boing, 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 well, get it up eventually, damn it! <laughs> so I can just keep flying into the spring, I'll get it eventually, Tails! One of these days, I'll get that whale! I don't know, I suddenly thought of Moby Dick. <laughs> That's what I want to see. I want to see Moby Dick with Dr. Robotnik as the whale, and Sonic as Captain Ahab. <laughs> that actually reminds me of this little game. Game me and my friends used to play back in high school. Uh, trying to imagine, like, famous stories of literature with Sonic characters in all the roles. Like, uh... What, what's that? Edgar Allan Poe... Uh, the Vel... Something... Ah, uh, god, I forgot the name of it. It's an Edgar Allan Poe one. It's, like, this one about a, like, nobleman who seals up up his castle and prevents themselves from dying from a plague. But the plague gets in anyway through the use of, like, a velvet... Like, this mysterious stranger in velvet, and I just turned to Jonathan and went, Wouldn't that be fucking hilarious if it just turned out the guy, the guy spraying the plague is actually just Sonic and Knuckle- Sonic on top of Knuckles? <laughs> like, riding on Knuckles' shoulders? <laughs> We've been playing that game ever since. Like, uh, there's also this one story about this, uh... I'm forgetting all these names, so I'm having to go find the description of the plot. <laughs> which I can remember better than names. Which is, which is scary, but it's like it's like about this old dude who uh, tries to recreate, tries to bring the debt, like tries to rejuvenate youth, youth out of some weird morbid curiosity about his dead girlfriend or something. But <laughs> and if I tell his friends to try it out, and <laughs> I remember thinking. <laughs> Yeah, wouldn't this be funny with Sonic characters? It's like, yeah, Tails is the old crazy doctor. Uh, <laughs> uh, Rouge would be... Rouge would be one of the characters who gets the serum. Dr. Robotnik would be one of them. It's like, fuck yeah. I don't want to tell you to make Tails the mad, mad old scientist in that one. The, oh wait, no, I remember that because uh, the dude has a dead girlfriend and I kind of thought Cosmo from Sonic... And I just finished watching the third season of Sonic X. Uh, and I'll cover that when I get to that. But yeah. And I thought it really fit at the time. Which, to be fair, it does still fit. Okay, so this is the boss of Carnival Night Zone. I don't know why I totally went on a tangent there. I'm sorry. There's just. Sorry, mic issues. There's just not a whole lot to talk about. But yeah, the main gimmick of the boss here is that you don't do damage to the boss. The boss does damage to the boss. Boom. Bossception. Boom. <laughs> but yeah, with the stage complete, Sonic taps his foot. And the stage is all completional. All completional. Lovely. <laughs> Move aside, Tails. I'm the protagonist. Or you can look at it like Sonic Guru Tail. <laughs> yeah, no. 
Okay, now I'm actually a fucking Hamlet with Sonic characters. <laughs> um, let's see. Ah, uh, shit, I'm trying to imagine how that would be. Uh, there's no real parents. Yeah, <laughs> There's no real parental figure. Oh, 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 I know. Uh, Shadow the Hedgehog is Hamlet. Um, <laughs> follow me here. Here. Uh, the dude who killed... The king is Gerald Robotnik. Uh, the guy who kills the king is the gun commander. <laughs> we'll get to that when we get to that. Just check out my- actually, just check out my Sonic Adventure 2 Battle Let's Play, and also check out, uh, I am dj 9s Shadow of the Hedgehog Let's Play. Which luckily changed his perceptions about this game, because- about, uh, Shadow of the Hedgehog, because he used to think that game was great, now he thinks it's awful, so, yeah! Huzzah! Um, <laughs> oh, but... Yeah. Um, let's see, who would Ophelia be, Ophelia? Uh, Ophelia would be Amy. Cause why not? Gertrude, who would Gertrude be? Why am I doing this? Like reimagining classic, sorry, classic literature with Sonic characters? It's dignified. That's how, that's how, like, the original authors want to be remembered. Me pairing them into Sonic characters for Christ's fucking sake. That's so horrible. Uh, Polonius would be Vector the Crocodile. As I do think he's smarter than he actually is. Yeah, that's Vector. Uh, um. Let's see. Uh, um. <clears throat> Lias would be Sonic because screw it, I need to have some way to get him in this story. Uh, Horatio would be Omega. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just imagining Omega. Like, Omega from Sonic Heroes doing in his robotic voice the goodnight sweet prince thing. <laughs> thing, and it's fucking hilarious. Sadly, I can't do a good, uh... I can't do a good, uh... Tails. <laughs> can't... I just can't imagine, uh... I just can't do a good Omega voice, so I can't come up with that. So if anyone could actually, like, come up with that, please do. Like, if anyone's good at mimicking Omega's voice, please do that. <laughs> I would so love to fucking hear that speech. I just redone by Omega. Is it redone by E123 Omega? Oh, okay, I'm gonna give it a try here. Good night, sweet per- oh, no, I can't- I can't do it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, let's see. Uh. Uh. Oh, I forgot who Gertrude would be. Gertrude would be Ru uh, Rouge. Uh. Let's see. Why am I doing this? Am I that bored? Which, to be fair, there is not a whole lot to talk about with this. It's just carnival. Not am I this fucking bored already? It's only four parts in! <laughs> Uh, okay, so you're wonder probably wondering how I'm controlling the barrels, and that's because, um... Uh, that's because I simply move my control, uh, the controller, like the D-pad or the keyboard, up and down, up and down, up and down, and by using the D- and by pressing up and down on the- your D-pad, you can cause the, the, uh, freaking, uh... You can freaking cause the freaking- <laughs> You can cause the freaking 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 I don't know. Um, fuck me. This is what this LP is doing to me. I knew I should have done this game live, but when it came to the Super Rumble stuff, I didn't want to do that shit. I didn't want to do that shit live, because I knew I wouldn't be able to get the Super Emeralds if I did that. Because the Super Emeralds are actually tough, so yeah. But like I said, we'll get the Super Emeralds when we get to the Super Emeralds. Okay, now I'm just gonna... Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I know I should be a lot more mature, but... And yeah, Knuckles turned out the lights, but that doesn't change shit, really. It just makes it a lot less lively. Yeah, yawn. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still... Also kind of in the back of my mind, still trying to think of, uh... Okay, who would the Prince of Norway be? Um... See, the Prince of Norway would be... Knuckles. Oh wait, who would 
like Hamlet's two friends. I forgot their names. Names, I'll say to be fair, they didn't really have much impact on the plot to begin with, so no, nothing really more there. Um, Charm me be an espio. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That works. There we go. Okay, now I want. Now I want to see a stage production of a uh, ham. Uh, who would Doctor Robotnik be though? Like, what role would Doctor Robotnik fill in the story? Uh, oh wait, I I know. Uh, is anyone see the Kenneth Branagh version, like the one one that legitimately attempts to adapt the entire original story? Uh, Robin Williams played like this really old channel guy. I want Doctor Robotnik to be playing that role. Well, simply because I feel like uh. Um, uh, I always felt like Dr. Robotnik should be done by Robin Williams. And to be fair, he himself is an admitted nerd. Also, granted, to be, to be honest, that is for the Zelda series, but still, that's something, right? <laughs> like, Robin Williams is an admitted nerd so much that he admitted to the fact he named his daughter Zelda after the game. Like, after the game series. Which is fucking strange. Which is also brought up in like an Ocarina of Time 3D ad, which I found hilarious when that came up. God damn, I missed the lightning shield. Oh well. Um. What else? What else? Uh, what else could we do? What else could we adapt into Sonic? <laughs> What else can we adopt? Oh, right. Uh, sorry, I got distracted there. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I could do, like, the whole Sonic adaptation of. Uh, crap. I'm trying to think here. <laughs> okay. No, I'm- Okay, actually, I could do that. Possibly. Ah. Uh. Okay, now I'm thinking of doing, like, The Fault in Our Stars as a freaking, uh, with Sonic characters, which, by the way, if you have not read The Fault in Our Star Stars yet, I totally recommend doing that. You know? Just saying. Ah, Christ. Uh, oh, Romeo and Juliet. There we go. Romeo and Juliet with Sonic characters. How would that be? Uh, Let's see. Story about star-crossed lovers. I'm trying to think here. Story about star-crossed lovers. Um, okay, so... Alright, alright. I know I'm gonna be really calling out upon, like really old forgotten Sonic canon, but I want Tails as Romeo and Cosmo as Juliet, okay? That's the only way it could work, so we're talking about, you know, Star-Crossed Lovers here, and they're literally the only definition the Sonic series has, so yeah. Um, what else? You know what, I really can't think of anything else other than that, and the stage is almost over. So, with that being said, this has been the so we're gonna free all these flickies and end the stage. Yeah, free all these flickies and end the stage. And we're gonna head into to the ice cap zone. So join me next time. With that being said, this has been Lonely Songer saying you like this video, please comment, like, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.